is using baseline grid. In this upcoming project we're going to do for newspaper, one of the easy way to make sure that all of our column text, the top column is lined up, is to use the, a baseline grid. So if you were to open your InDesign file and create a new document, I'm just going to use the default settings. And I'm going to just make a text box and I'm going to fill it with fake type, filled with placeholder text. Now, if I were to zoom in, and I have my type set for fourteen, let's say fifteen points. You notice that my type went up. If I change it to sixteen by letting the space in between my type, the lines are get is getting larger and larger. That's called letting. Well, behind, hidden behind every InDesign file is an invisible grid. And if I were to go under view, I can say show baseline grid. And if you see these blue lines here, that's the invisible baseline grid. Right now, I'm not really even using it, even though it's over it. It almost looks like um, loose leaf paper. But right now, I'm not really lined up to that. But let's say I do want to have my text always line up with these lines. And one of the reasons I might want to do that is I might have a smaller box. And over here, I have another small box. And I want to make sure they line up. Well, I can either use my XY coordinates over here, and that would be the easier way, but let's say I had several columns. Another way I can do it is to use um, the baseline grid. So if I have my type selected, and I go to my paragraph palette, right here are the two options. This one, do not align the baseline grid, and this one is align the baseline grid. So if I click on align to baseline grid, notice that all of this type jumped and now it locks into place on the baseline grid. Well, my letting is 22. It says right here, 22 points. So if I were to select all that type and I make it 21, nothing happens. If I make it 20, nothing's happening. And this is going to happen. It's going to keep doing that until it gets to a certain breaking point. Well, the breaking point is I have my preference set up to be 12.4 is my baseline grid. So if I were to go into preferences and go to grids, right here is increment every 12. I'm sorry, it was 12. So every 12 points is making these blue lines. So if I were to change it to like 15 points, now my type has jumped to more letting and even though it says this it's every 12 points I want a line of type it will not do that it's going to go above in this case to 15 and go and snap to that baseline grid so if I change it to 13 nothing happens 14 nothing happens 15 nothing happens that is the actual baseline grid <coughs> dimension but then if I go to 16 you'll see that it's going to actually jump so it no longer can fit within these 15 points so it because it's 16, it has to jump to the next baseline grid. So I'm going to take it back down to 15. I'll take this type to 15. Give it a minute. Now, I had selected this type, and I'd gone to paragraph, and I, I said align to baseline grid. I have not aligned this type to baseline grid, and as soon as I do, you'll notice that it's going to jump and it's going to now align to that grid as well. The reason I'm telling you this is this is one of the features that we use in newspaper layout to make sure that all of our type across the various columns lines up or all of our type right before a caption or a call out or a photo things are going to line up. It gives it a much cleaner look, it helps with repetition, it helps with alignment, so this is called baseline grid. 
you won't always need to use it. Um, it is a nice feature. It can make your design a little bit more difficult at first until you get a hang of it, but it definitely helps in newspaper layout. 